Hi Capricorns, welcome back. This is your weekly for May 12th through the 18th. The beginning of the week, the moon is in Virgo. The end of the week, we have our full moon in Scorpio. Mercury is in Taurus right now until the 21st. Venus is in Aries until the 15th. Mars is in Gemini until the 15th. Jupiter's retrograde in Sagittarius. Saturn's retrograde in Capricorn, Uranus is in Taurus, Neptune is in Pisces, and Pluto is retrograde in Capricorn. So, with the Earth energy, we should be feeling um, more grounded and stable. Hopefully. I'm not going to put Oracle cards for this reading. It's just going to be tarot. Four more shuffles for Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So it's a relationship spread um, that I'm going to do can apply to any relationship in your life. Romantic, non-romantic, friendships, family, whatever's affecting you the most. I should clean this table. Okay. Overall thing of the reading, King of Cups. Um, balancing the emotions, expressing the emotions, being warm, sociable, social, yeah. Um, maybe approachable. That's the theme of the reading. All right, the relationship situation. Single. Probably a lot of you are single, um, self-sufficient, trying to be self-sufficient or remain self-sufficient, um, trying to create financial abundance, um, independent. So maybe you're wanting to attract someone, and that's why the King of Cups is the overall theme of the reading. Let's see. All right, your mental space involves could be sad you could be mourning the loss of something maybe a loss of a relationship or something or you could be fearing loss there could be some type of sadness emotional sadness is, that's that's on your mind some type of loss is um, taking up your mental space um, okay your emotions are on your mind and your mind is is in your emotions <laughs> um, your emotional space your heart space two of swords Libra energy um, maybe you don't know how to feel about something because um, this is about needing time to think and need like making a decision um, so maybe you don't know how to feel about a certain situation, possibly whatever this loss is, um, or whatever that sadness is stemming from, you don't know how to feel about it. We'll dig deeper. And your behavior, um, it's how you appear and what your actions involve. Um, Seven of Pentacles, um, this is about long-term investment and sowing seeds for the future you could be having a little bit of self-doubt but you could just be resilient and put like moving forward um continuing to plant seeds for the future and that's how you appear as well now these sides can flip-flop so if this side isn't you then this side may be you and this side is your person all right <clears throat> so we have the hierophant um, for the mental space of your person or you um, or cross watcher um, progression unity spiritual knowledge and leadership mentorship this is a uh, higher learning you could be learning a lot spiritually or ascending spiritually or you could be um, seeking mentorship look we have two fives two fives okay you could be um, Progressing mentally. Taurus energy with the Hierophant. It is Taurus season. 
and we have the eight of pentacles for your person's emotions maybe they're working really hard on themselves working hard on um this card is about money and recognition but in an emotional aspect let me see Yeah, they're building on previous experience, building on um, learning new skills, learning new ways. No, they're probably learning new things about their emotions or how to express their emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like trying to trying to get to this King of Cups. Another five. Sheesh. Big change. They appear to be out in the cold, um, excluded, impoverished. They appear to be, this is, they could be, you could, maybe, now this is probably just to you, they probably seem to be having some type of internal struggles um, that maybe only you can see or only a few people can see it's not apparent to everyone this is also lack of faith or uh, optimism lack of optimism they could be looking they could be appear, appearing to be pessimistic okay Capricorns get three shuffles on the third side of the left side the Capricorn Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter So we have judgment with the five of cups someone is i feel like judging themselves feeling down on themselves in the mental space either you or your partner whichever side is yours this is the mental space of one or the other um there's feel like yeah still a need for like balancing the emotions it's reviewing the past maybe someone is reviewing the past and re reviewing the losses not focusing on what they still have they're being a little bit pessimistic um, kind of like this feeling Maybe like they want a second chance, thinking about a second chance. Could also be um, wanting forgiveness or a fresh start. Um, yeah, this is Pluto energy. I feel like there's something else I'm supposed to mention about it, but I can't figure out what it is. Pluto is retrograding Capricorn. Pluto is about rebirth. So maybe someone's having some type of rebirth and they're losing. Um, old parts are dying, you know, and they're mourning those pieces. or Whether they understand what's happening or not. Um, there's some type of rebirth or replenishment taking place um, and you take the two of cups and you know just keep moving things will probably be just fine let's get another one for the five of cups I haven't had to do this ten of wands yeah this um Whatever it is, it's a burden. It's it's beginning to oppress you. 
I feel like it's just a pessimistic view if you just turn around and focus on what you still have instead of what you lost. Um, things will be fine. All right, and with the two of two of swords, we have the eight of swords. Um, so you, there's some indecision, and there's some anxiety around the indecision as well. Restriction. These cards, you know, you know what the eight of swords looks like. Um, the woman trapped. She's blindfolded as well, surrounded by the swords with um, her feet bound. It's restriction. It's not being able to move forward because the decision hasn't been made and you don't know how to feel about something. So um, you probably just have a lot of anxiety about it. And the mental space is all sad and gloomy and over, you know, oppressed and overburdened, overwhelmed. And that's why you can't, you don't know how, you don't know how to feel about something. Oh, sheesh. See one more. Oh, okay. Page of Swords. All this mental energy. There's a need for fresh thoughts. Um, you could be very curious about something, not getting the answers that you want or that you seek. You uh, probably just need to pay a little bit more attention to detail um, about the way you're feeling. Pay attention to the way you're feeling and the way it affects your mind. Pay attention to the thoughts you have around certain people or during certain moments. It's also someone spying. You could be spying on someone or someone could be spying on you. This side, I think it's really the one that's spying. Whoever this is, it's probably the one that's spying. Maybe someone is afraid to face judgment. Maybe they want a second chance, but they feel so overwhelmed by the losses they're reflecting on. And they're spying and feel restricted, don't know how to feel. Okay, and then we have the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. So they appear to be like on top of their game and just um, stable, right? And secure. I think they are a little stubborn, um, but this person understands long-term investment. However, I think there is a little bit of self-doubt. They appear to be like the King of Pentacles and very confident. However, I think they are looking at the seeds that they've sown and wondering if they have planted responsible seeds. Let's get one more for the sake of it. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles again, please. Oh, okay, we're getting jumpers today. Page of Pentacles. Yep. They're wanting newness. They're wanting to plant new seeds, new adventures, new... Um, the Pentacles are about, yes, money, but um, also things like time, effort, energy. And the pages are curious. They're learning their way. They're willing to learn their way. They're, you know, adventurers. They're messengers. I think this person is wanting to um, plant new seeds. I think this person is looking at this here, and I don't think they're happy with what has sprouted. Um, so they're ready to take this pinnacle and go plant some new seeds, you know? All right, let's clarify the right side. side for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Ooh. Ooh. I'll be 
is fives. Okay. A lot of change. Big change happening. Surprised the tower didn't come out, but we still got a little ways to go. So, we have the Three of Cups and um, the Hierophant. So, this could involve being social and um, celebrating. Hmm. This card also means marriage, uh, spiritual unity. It could also be meditation as well, uh, but it's about higher learning. And the Three of Cups is about socializing, harmonious relationships, um, celebrating, like weddings, babies, things like that. So some of you could be thinking about getting married or thinking about, um, thinking about your future, um, thinking about some of you could be planning a wedding because I know marriage came up in a few readings back. Some of you could either be planning a wedding, thinking about a wedding, or um, just feeling dreamy, thinking about it, or um, being social with your spiritual journey. You know, um, like... Um, like me and work holistic fairs sometimes or something like that you know like social events that involve spirituality that are helping you advance and grow spiritually and progress that's your mental space or your person's mental space with the eight of pentacles we have the four of wands it's about stability um um, this is also my settling down card. Maybe this person in their emotional space is working on their emotions because they also they want to settle down. They're thinking about marriage. Yeah. They're they're figuring out you know, not necessarily just marriage, just stability. You know, long term. This is about long term investment, but this is about you know stability, um, establishing yourself in a professional. Um, a professional career or a creative um, outlet or a community or something like that. It also involves travel. It can involve travel. But I think this person is just wanting to establish their emotions um, more securely. Then we have the Five of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Yeesh. Somebody's having some major internal struggles, some internal battles, some mastering themselves. Maybe it appears just that way on the outside because this is their behavior. Um, they appear to be um, going through some things. Ooh. Let's get another one. For the five of pentacles okay okay i didn't want to take them but i feel like i should okay the king of swords the queen of swords and the emperor is what showed themselves flipped out um so the king of swords is someone who uses judgment and strategy makes strong will decisions um is mentally strong intelligent and communicates effectively externally especially you know and the queen of swords is someone who's maybe a little sarcastic witty also mentally strong a little bit more intuitive um so I think this is someone just being, I think this is about being balanced, having balanced masculine and feminine energy. It also is a perfect pair. So this could be, you know, you and your person, but I think this is about being balanced. And the emperor is about power, authority, um, boundaries, and the way it came out was the king of swords. And then these two. So I think there needs to be boundaries between you two. And um, you both are very powerful and strong-minded. 
and you both are sure of what you want and you both uh, think can have um, strong communication or um, strong ways of thinking but there needs to be power order structure and boundaries between you two so let's look at your advice from the star material deck I'm not going to show it like that I can't Two cards, let's get three. Three cards for Capricorns advice, universe, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter sign Capricorn for their advice based on this spread. Okay. okay. Ace of Wands, Prince of, Princess of Pentacles, and the Tower. I knew it was going to come out, all these fives. Ace of Wands, Princess of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles, and the Tower. Big changes. All these fives, the Hierophant, yeah, and then the Five of Cups. Okay, let's look at the Starman Tarot book. I know I love this book. Okay, Ace of Wands. Flash of creative insight, the drive of cre the drive to create something new, quick energy burst, the passionate start of a new passion project. Um. Okay, and I think that's what this person is wanting to do with this page of pentacles. That's what this person really desires. A new start. So there's. Um, if there's a new passionate well you should just be I guess be passionate about your new endeavors but um, use your creativity and your energy towards the things that you're passionate about be observant and resourceful look into the little details enjoy collaboration yeah yeah, this is, um, yeah, definitely about being resourceful, planting seeds, planting responsible seeds, and then the Page of Swords also says to pay attention to detail. Then the tower. I feel like this is a, a good tower, because this looks like a lot of transformation. It doesn't look like, maybe like times are hard right now, I know for me personally, definitely can resonate with this here um so maybe there's a good tower coming rapid unsettling change surrender to the flashes of, of insight power and in not knowing your world feels like it's falling apart strengthen your core beliefs and I think that's what um, the Hierophant is about strengthening the core beliefs and um, these internal struggles, these, this mastering oneself and working on the emotions, trying to create stability. So, all right, let's look at the likely outcome. Oh, well, let's get some more advice. Two more shuffles. Let's get some more advice for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. One more shuffle. <laughs> the Devil card. The devil card has been coming up in people's readings because Saturn is retrograde and I think this is definitely representing Saturn, Capricorn um, energy. Saturn is in Capricorn and retrograde currently. 
Um, it's about karma and balance. Um, the Ace of Wands again. New beginnings, the birth or uh, creation of something, new passions, um, new adventures. And the Seven of Swords, high volumes of ideas. Um, I think this um, this side over here is what I think of. Like a lot is going on in the mental space, right? It's, even with this, especially this side, this with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, Page of Swords, a lot of stuff going on in the mental space. I know for me, I've been having some crazy dreams. I haven't been remembering them, but they have been off the chain. And we've been having a lot of rain too. So this is about high volumes of ideas, sporadic effort as well. Could be um, a need to protect your assets. Um, this could also be fear of loss. But I think, let's see, I don't know. I might have to clarify this. Because um, there's some type of unsettling change, some type of restriction. I think it's just mental restriction. And I think if you focus on creativity, yeah, if you just focus on creativity and fresh ideas, um, creative ventures, you can kind of settle your mind because your mind is probably the restriction, all this mental restriction. Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, all of this. Planting new seeds creatively, trying new things creatively. All right, let's get the likely outcome. What's the likely outcome for Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? temperance, balance, moderation, blending, harmony, um, this energy, balancing this out, um, ma managing the heart and mind, uh, not letting things have power over you, not letting your mind have power over you. Balance in the harm, I mean, the blending and harmony between the heart and mind, the ego and the higher self. Sagittarius energy. Um, also, negotiation. Which is, I feel like, what's happening with this situation. There may be some negotiation between you and your counterpart could be a work situation as well but yeah you may be coming together and negotiating something and finding balance together let's get more more for the likely alpha outcome for capricorn summer rising venus and jupiter oh okay anything else for the likely outcome Planting new seeds, possibly together. Happiness, fulfillment, joy, and abundance. Lovely. Also, I feel like um, managing, balancing security and like home life, like um, emotional life and home life. Um, planting new seeds, learning new things, building on. Uh, Building something, possibly building together. Investing time, energy, and effort um, responsibly. Being studious. 
learning and I think this is a this is a very mature space to be in because then you can learn from each other and there's balance there's boundaries there's order power and structure in between you two and it's just balanced love it love it love it love it even if this is internal beautiful that's your reading Capricorn I hope you enjoyed that and if it resonates let me know sorry about the volume and connect with me on Instagram instant go all that good stuff information is in the description box if you want a personal reading or if you'd like to donate to the channel I appreciate that as always and until next time peace love and light bye Caps.